Hey everybody, Adam Payne here coming at you with the Video Marketing Insider and in this video we're going to be looking at a brand new suite of stock videos and images in a brand new launch called Stock Nation 2.0. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are over at the JV page. Now we'll come to the actual product in a second, but this is the JV page for a new product called Stock Nation. It's actually Stock Nation 2.0. I've got no idea when version one was released and what was included, whether it's similar or different. But anyway, it kind of piqued my interest because I do a lot of video stuff and I do know the importance of having a great collection of stock videos that you can use to create good quality content. So I came to their JV page. Honestly, I've got no idea who these people are that are behind this product. And that's a little bit of a risk for me because generally speaking, I'd only like to recommend products and services and softwares by people that I know deliver good quality stuff. And that actually is few and far between. But occasionally I see stuff where I think it looks good, but I've got no idea if these guys are really legit or not. So I don't know if they're going to support their stuff. I don't know if this is going to disappear in six months time. I can't make those guarantees. I just don't know. But I'm going to take you through it anyway. I went So this is the JV page and you know, blah, 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 blah. So basically 25,000 uh, premium high definition quality stock videos, which are not openly available on the web. Now, of course, I can't go and check every single 25,000 videos to double check that, but sometimes you've got to take people's word on things. If you see videos and they are available in other places, then please let me know. I do know that a lot of um, websites do charge a lot of money for stock videos, so it is great to have a large collection or a large database at your disposal. Um, they've got an inbuilt video editor as well, which I'm going to talk briefly about because that could be a selling point for a lot of people. but warning I don't think they should be. Um, so again, yeah, apparently it took them a year to develop. They've got a few testimonials of past products here. I don't know who these guys are, but that's often that's often a good sign because if you know who they are and they're other marketers, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's bullshit. So anyway, they've got a demo video here, so you're more than welcome to come across. But any, I'm going to come here. This is what I was given inside of my review site, so I've got access to this stuff. So when you log in, you'll see at the top you have different sections. Now we're going to focus on videos right now. And some of these videos are labelled with premium. So I'm guessing these are from one of their upsell packages, which I'll briefly talk about later. So you can have a search bar, or they've got some generic kind of main things here. But let's just type in the word turtles and hit search. I don't want to type in dogs or cats or buildings because I'm guaranteed they're going to have stuff on that. And look, just from Turtles, we've got these videos here. So I can just pick this video. This looks quite cool. Let's click on this. It will open up. You can see it's got the sound of the turtle swimming as well. Let's pause that. So if you're doing anything, for example, with scuba diving, you're doing anything with snorkeling, with beach vacations, in the travel industry, hotels, there's potential for you to use this kind of video. So you can download this video straight to your computer or you can add it to your favorites and then come back to it later. So we'll close that off. Let's just do something else random. Let's type in, I'll type in Japan. I live in Japan. I don't know if they've got videos on Japan, by the way. I'm just searching. Uh, so these are some Japan-based videos. Now, of course, if you type in something really odd or really weird and you can't find anything, that may happen. Um, so let me just choose something random. Let's click on this one here. This is a Maniki Neko, which is a Japanese-style good fortune cat. Um, no sound on this one. So sometimes you'll find there's sound, sometimes you'll find there isn't sound. Um, so again, you, there, there are tons and tons of videos. Again, a few of these premium ones you may not get if you just purchase the main thing. Or you can just do generic searches here, like I could type click adventure. And you can see it loads really quickly as well. Um, so I don't know, this mountain bike one. This one's got sound. You know, but again, mountain biking is a niche. People that do stuff in this niche, if you've got mountain biking, uh, outdoors, travel, you could, you know, download these videos and play around with them. Now, stock videos are important, but you've got to remember that stock videos generally, as they are, aren't going to do you much. You need to be able to download them, maybe add your own text to them, edit them, blend in a couple of videos together. If you just download a video and upload it somewhere, there's no real point to that. But I'm sure the majority of you would, would know that anyway. 
So let's just come here to tools and I want to come to the video editor because I know a lot of people that promote this product are going to say, yeah, you get a great video editor with this. Um, to my mind, the video editor is pretty crap. Uh, this shouldn't be a reason why you buy this video, I buy this product. So if I click on edit, for example, um, I can basically, you know, make clips shorter or longer. Uh, I can delete them. You know, I can add an audio to them from the music library, but I can't do much, let's be honest. I can't, you know, play around with text or make it into anything decent. So if you, but if you are using stock video, then I'm sure you do have an editor of some sorts. You may have or have different ones. I use Camtasia, there's Filmarama, there's a bunch of different editors that you could use. But don't buy this for the editor is basically what I'm saying. So let's leave that. So let's, uh, that will take us back here. And there are tons of videos, you know, they're good quality, they're decent stuff. Let's just do one more search. Let's just type in the word wine and hit search. See if we can find some wine videos. Um, not quite sure if that's wine or not, but we've got, yeah, we've got some decent wine pouring videos. So I'll click on this one. And I'll give you, Okay, so that's not got sound on there. So again, you may need to you know, play around with that if you use that particular video. But the videos themselves are good. You can download them and there are tons and tons and tons. Now, I'm just gonna pause the video and I wanna just take you and show you something. So give me one sec. Okay, so this is the actual funnel of the product. So I've, t I've basically taken you through the stuff you're gonna get in the front end. You get a bunch of videos, 25,000 videos, advanced well it's a video editor that's probably anything but advanced but you know just be aware of that uh, motion backgrounds which are, of course could be part of these videos you can use them as you want you've got personal and commercial license so that's pretty cool you know you can use them for yourself or you can you know use them to make money now if you want to get OTO1 and I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't it's your choice but OTO1 has a bunch of high definition images and an image editor so if we come back and we click on, for example, illustrations, let's just click on illustrations and we'll see, we get some different kinds of images in here. So you get some risque ones. Now, I, when I went through these images, I actually recognized some of these images. So I reached out to the uh, one of the guys behind it and he just basically said that all of their images are scraped from various sources around the web. So you can actually probably find a lot of these images for free. The purpose of something like this is just to save you time and make it easy. You know, I, I saw images when I was looking and I thought, I've seen that image on Pixabay and I've seen that one on Pexels. So they're not only available with this software, just have that in mind. You're going to find these images for free elsewhere. It's just keeping them all in one place if that's what you want. So you get illustrations, you get uh, vector images as well. So let's just let this load up. So you get these little kind of things you can play around with. If we click on the photos, which is where most of the stuff will come from, you get some pretty, you get some photos here that you can use. So let's just say I want to go, I don't know, let's think of uh, mystery, yeah, mystery search, something kind of random, and you get these pretty cool little images. Now these images could be great. You could use these for Facebook ads. You could download these images and upload them into Canva, but they say that they've got an advanced video editor. So let's go to tools and image editor. And let's, did that click through? Okay, uh, let's just uh, have a look at the image editor. Now to be perfectly fair, when I looked at this, this was actually better than the um, video one. But again, canva.com is completely free. So open a photo, I don't know, let's open this one. Open a photo. I don't want to get one from my desktop. So, you know, there's that image here. You can play around with this, you can resize it. You can add some text to it. You know, let's pick red. Uh, let's change the font, um, something random like that, add text, you know, double click to edit. So it works like any basic video editor and you can just, you know, start typing stuff in, test, um, you can, you know, zoom in, you can zoom out, you can, you know, you can save it, you can download it, you can do what you want. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get rid of that. So again, that's the image editor. Let's come back over here. Um, so that's partly to do with that. The other two OTOs, again, OTO2 is more illustrations uh, and some audios as well. So let me take you back to the audios. Click on audios. 
and it kind of works a similar kind of way. You've got some audios that you can play, you can download, you can favor it, um, you can search, you know, animal, let's click on animal, you've got a dog bark, a, ho a horse eating, be random, an insect sound with a train passing by. But anyway, if you wanted to like, use videos that were related to dogs, horses and insects, then maybe that would be good. Um, but whoop, that's the JV doc, I have to block that out because it wouldn't be fair. And OTO3 is reseller, right, if you want it, I don't know. And you can get paid 100% commissions if you buy OTO3. Whether you need that or not, I don't really, I doubt it, but you may want it, it's up to you. But I wanted to say the basic thing of this review is to review the front end. I thought the videos were cool, there were lots of them. Um, the editor, not so much, but if you're serious about video marketing, you'll have your own editor anyway. But having uh, access to lots of stock videos are really important. Whether you've got story blocks, whether you've got an access to Shutterstock, you'll know how expensive um, stock videos can be. So for this one-time price of, I do believe, 37 to $47, now I'm presuming it's going to be 37 when it goes live and gradually go up. It goes live on the 4th of August. I do have a few bonuses. If you want to check it out, um, you can go to my link below and check that out and read more about it and see the bonuses. <clears throat> but... I do think that stock videos are a great thing to have. So that's Stock Nation 2.0. That's my Stock Nation 2.0 review. Any questions, leave them below, either on YouTube or on the Beers of Adam review site, if that's where you are. And your bonuses will be delivered automatically to you if you clear your cookies before purchase. So that being said, I'm going to end this video. Stock Nation 2.0. Check it out if you want it. Take care.